Well, it started when <clears throat> when I was supposed to go to stage. Then, um, <clears throat> rehearse my spot, yung three songs for the front act, and so yun nga, nasa nasa waiting area, nasa dressing room, and then the staff called me, called our team, kasi nga sabi, I can start with the uh, sound check na for the three songs. Okay. So when we when we go up na dun sa stage. Nakita namin si Sir David Foster. He's playing the piano mm-hmm. that time. And I was like, oh, he's still rehearsing. So maybe I need to um, stand by muna sa gilid. So, pero nagulat ako bigla niya yung tinawag. Tapos sabi niya, do you have your ears on? So tinatanong niya kung suit niya na yung in-ears ko. Eh, sakto kasi. Going back. Going sa stage. Suot ko na yung in-ears ko. So sabi ko, yeah, I have my ears on. Then sabi niya, do you want to try the song? Tapos parang ako nagulat talaga ako. So, what song? So, go, what song? So, sabi ko, huh? And then sabi niya, the song, all by myself. I'm practicing, um, sabi niya, I'm practicing the keys daw. So, sabi ko, what do you mean? I'm going to perform the song? So, sabi niya, sabi niya, yeah, just give it a try. Tapos doon ako medyo, Pagkasabi niya nung just give it a try, doon ako biglang nag, nag internal shocks. panic. Parang doon ko na feel na parang shocks what's happening. Parang ano, parang hindi ko alam na mangyayari to, parang ganoon. So, gulat na ako. Napatingin na ako dun sa RM ko. Tapos pagtingin ko sa sa ah uh, daw dito sa sa staff ng show, sa mga producer and everything hindi rin nila alam yung nangyayari. So parang lahat kami walang alam sa nangyayari. Parang lahat kami nagkakatinginan dun sa sinabi ni Sir David. And then doon nag-start na sabi niya, um, pakinggan mo tong part na to. Pinarinig niya sa akin yung dulong part. Yung don't wanna live by myself anymore, by myself anymore. Yung part na yun. Yun yung pinlay niya. Sabi niya, um, yun daw yung tandaan ko parang practicing ko na yung part na yun. So, pinlay niya. Tapos, kinanta ko yung part na yun. Tapos, after noon, bigla na lang sinabi niya, so, uh, so, do you want to perform this song tonight? Do you want to perform this tonight? Gumanan siya. Tapos, hindi ko alam anong sabihin ko. Sinabi ko lang, if it's okay with you, sir. Tapos, bigla sabi niya, yeah, you sound great. Ah, uh, let's, let's do this tonight. Bigla siyang gumanan. Tapos, ako parang, wala na. <laughs> wala na ang atrasan parang nakapag-go na ako so hindi ko alam kung anong, gina, anong ginawa ng ng universe paano mangyari yon but sabi ko nung pagpunta ko ng dressing room sabi ko nagpray pray kagad ako sabi ko Lord bagong ano ba to bagong challenge ba to or ano ba to ano, ano, anong plano yun Lord alam ko blessing to Lord pero kaya ko ba to parang ganyan yung iniisip ko pero Sempre di ba sabi nila pag merong pag may binigay sa iyo ibig sabihin kaya mo kasi binigay sa iyo hindi naman sa ibibigay kung hindi mo kaya kung problem man 'yan or anything so sabi ko na lang talaga sa backstage nagpray ako sabi ko Lord kaya na po bahala sa performance ko tonight <laughs> parang himbis na kabahan lang ako dun sa performance na all by myself kinabahan na rin ako dun sa three songs ko for the front act kasi, kasi naghalo-halo na talaga yung <laughs> <laughs> halo-halo na yung iniisip ko so talagang gulong-gulo na yung utak ko that time so inintay ko lang dumating si coach Brennan para manghingi lang ako ng mga ng mga pointers parang ganun nanghingi ako ng advice tapos ayun nga kailangan mag vocalize and everything mag practice so grabe and then yung the rest is history na hindi ko na alam paano, paano namin naitawid yung show hindi ko alam paano ako nakapag-perform. Basta nung spot ko nung front act, yun, nag-perform ako nung song. Yung three songs na pinaform ko is yung All I Ask, Room, and yung Defying Gravity. Tapos after nun, sobrang tinakabahan na ako. Kasi next na nga yung All By Myself. 
Tapos nung performance na ng All By Myself, sobrang walang-wala ko sa sarili ko nun. Grabe. <laughs> Hindi ko maalala yung moment na paano nangyari yun. Basta kumanta ako tapos alam ko parang bumubulong pa ako sa hangin nun kasi parang pinapractice ko nga yung dulo na Don't wanna live by myself anymore Pagka meron, during performance yun ah, habang nagperform ako, pagka uh, mga part na hindi ako makanta, nakatingin ako sa, sa kawalan, tapos pinapractice ko yung part na yun. So parang, the whole time, I was really, you know, I don't know, parang, hindi ko alam paano siya nangyari, basta, sobrang blessing yun sa akin. And sobrang, once in a lifetime opportunity yun talaga. Muntik pa nga, muntik pa nga ako mag eh. Muntik na ako mag-no na i-perform yung song Yo, kasi nga sobrang kinakabahan ako. Pero buti na lang napangunahan ako ng, ng something inside me na parang go ko yung kanta. I-ano ko. I-ituloy ko. So yun. Kaya ganun ang nangyari. And ayun, after nun, pagbaba ka ng stage, yung the whole team, we were celebrating, we were jumping, we were shouting, we were very happy. Sobrang Sobrang saya nung feeling. Lahat kami nagtatalunan talaga. Alam mo yung feeling na parang, ano, nanalo kayo sa competition, parang ganun, nanalo kayo ng isang milyon sa loto. Parang ganun yung feeling. Nag- sisigawan kami lahat. And we were all, you know, happy. And sobrang, ano, sobrang, ano siya, ikikip ko talaga yung moment, moment na yon Like, I will forever cherish that moment. Sobrang saya. So 18, Stel just shared an amazing story with David Foster and uh, he just shared how everything happened, how he, you know, how, you know, David Foster called him and said, uh, you know, can we do it? And then, you know, all by myself happened. The rest is history, as he said, like, it's, he says, he said that once in a lifetime opportunity, he called it. And I know he's, he's going to get a lot of this kind of opportunities um, in the future as well because he's that kind of singer, that kind of performer. I mean, he is just an amazing, amazing performer and singer. So he will get this kind of opportunities, this kind of chances in the future as well. So, But yeah, it's, it's great to know how it happened.